Hey y'all, Moses here. Welcome back to another training room video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about essential tactics for squads and duos in PUBG. Squads and duos present some of the most challenging game modes available and are highly competitive. So I'll be sharing some tips and tricks and I hope that you find value in what I'm about to present. So without further ado, let's get started. Duos and squads can be extremely competitive game modes as you climb the ladder and offer many different challenges above normal solo gameplay. The goal of this video is to cover essential tactics and the basics of strategizing for duo and squad. Like any other video, some lessons are best learned over time and with practice, but I can promise you if you take time to learn these tactics and strategies, your overall success rate will improve. So with that said, let's get started. 1. Communication Basics Direction, distance, and detail. In team-based sports, games, and any other instance where individuals are working together, communication lies at the base of all potential success or failure. I'm sure you've been in games where your teammate didn't give you accurate information, or maybe you forgot to call out something important and it ended poorly. This can be common among teams, but there are three simple facets to good communication that you can practice. For this video, we're going to focus on the components of a good callout for enemies or whatever else you might come across during the course of a regular round. The three components are direction, distance, and detail. Direction is simple, but also massively important. Use the compass heading at the top of the screen as often as you can. Even if you aren't entirely sure on exact directions, use the numbers anyway. Shots coming from the north is less informative from shots coming from 15 or 20. Distance is also simple. Distance is just your best estimate as to how far away whatever you're calling out is located. This is a critical component that a lot of people just simply leave out of their calls, opting for just direction and detail. Distance should never be left out of any call, especially if you're the only person who has noticed what you're directing your team to look at. Detail is where you fill in whatever else might help your team locate what you're looking at. Remember to be precise. Don't just call out the house, call the window and the relative height. When it comes to calling out targets in trees or generally vague locations, give height if they're on a hill or in a basin, or call out other items that are near that location. Sometimes even calling out the color of the leaves can be helpful. When combined, direction, distance, and detail formulate short and informative calls for your team, which will alleviate some stress on communication and allow everyone to perform to the best of their ability. If you think communication skills should get their own video, let me know down in the comments. 2. Trading effectively and practicing good spacing Trading in PUBG is similar to what you might hear about in other games like CSGO. In this context, trading refers to enemy teams engaging in a fight and trading kills or downs with each other. To win a trade is to go 2v2 or 4v4 and eliminate all enemies while retaining two or more teammates. There are many different types of trades, but the basics are that you want to keep as many of your teammates alive as possible when engaging in a trade with an enemy team. To be able to trade effectively, you need to position yourself to aid a teammate immediately if they go down and not give an enemy time and space to finish your downed ally. The easiest example of this is when crashing an enemy who is entrenched or when trying to secure a victory in the endgame. If you are too close together, you become an easy target and can be wiped quickly. If you are too far apart, your teammate might be down and finished before you can react. Spacing and timing here is key, but let me show you a simple example of a common trading scenario. Generally, you should try and keep a maximum 10 to 15 meter space between you and your teammate in dangerous portions of the game. Those times would be in the looting phase, when positioning to attack an enemy in close quarters, and when trying to close out the end of a game. Nothing is worse than being too far apart and then losing a teammate. Remember to communicate and keep everyone on the same page when in a high risk time of a game. 3. Be a good teammate. Believe it or not, this is the toughest aspect of playing on any team. Duos and squads demand cohesive movement, execution, good communication, and individual performance. Often, the individual performance factor can overshadow the others in terms of importance. When this happens, animosity can grow and mistakes won't get fixed. Nobody wants to play with someone screaming about how many kills they got and subjects their team to a tirade when things don't go well. It's important to follow these simple steps to being a good teammate. One. Focus on whatever your goal is, whether it's winning, having fun, or getting better. A lot of the time, you can do all three. 2. Build up your teammates. Encourage them in both success and failure. 
If you have the ability to coach on a certain point or problem, do it in a constructive and calm way. 3. Play with people with common goals. If you're trying to field a competitive squad, you should try to find people that match your personality and playstyle. Like anything else, finding the right team can take time. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. For more content like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoy this type of content, hit that like button as well. I'm always interested in your feedback, so if you have some thoughts you'd like to share, leave a comment down below. And until next time, I'll see you out there. Thanks for taking the time to watch this Predator Training Room video. For more content like this, check out the playlist down below or visit the website that's linked in the description.